All right, beginners, we are on History 17, and it says, Miracles of Jesus. Jesus heals Jairus' daughter. Matthew um, 9, 4, 9, 18, and Mark 2, 21 through 43. Now, there's two different um, chapters in the Bible in here, um, Matthew and Mark. Matthew was actually another story of when Jesus healed a little girl. All right, but we are going to read today from Mark 5. So if you have a Bible with you, you can pull it out and open it up to Mark 5. Or um, what you can also do is if you turn the page, you have a picture right here that we will um, get to at the very end. But go ahead and start coloring it in the best you can. Be diligent. Take your time. All right. And um, make sure you try to stay in the lines the best you can because that's going to help you. All right, um, I go ahead and color this in as I read. Or again, you can follow along from your Bible. I'm going to read from the Bible, um, study Bible for kids. All right, so it said Mark 5. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee in a boat. It landed at the other side. A large crowd gathered around him. A man named Iris came. He was a leader of the people there. When he saw Jesus, he fell to his feet. He begged Jesus, please come, my little daughter is dying. Wouldn't that be very sad to see a man's daughter who's dying and he's what? He fell to his knees asking God to save his daughter. Uh, place your hands on, and um, place your hands on her and heal her. Then she will live. So Jesus went with him. All right, so Jesus is going over there. Then we're gonna skip some of it because a lot of other stuff happens, but we're not focusing on right now. And we turn the page um, to verse 35. It says, while Jesus was speaking, people came from the house of either. So Jesus is there at the house. I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. Jesus is with the man and he's going to the man's house to what? Heal the little girl. And um, while Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house, said to the leader, your daughter is dead. Why bother with, so why bother the teacher anymore? So why do they call um, Jesus a teacher? Because he knows so much things about what, about God. All right, so they call, they were, um, when they call, when they say teacher, they mean Jesus. And they said, why are you gonna bring Jesus to your house? Your daughter just died. She's no longer alive. How do you think the man felt? He probably was even more sad. He's like, no, she was alive a minute ago. That's why I'm bringing Jesus. Jesus heard what they were saying. He told the man, do not be afraid. Just believe. He let only Peter, James, John, and the brothers of James follow him. They came to the house, the leader, where Jesus saw a lot of confusion. People were crying and sobbing loudly. He went inside. Why all this confusion and sobbing? The child is not dead. He is only sleeping. But they laughed at him. But they, so they're over here crying because why the little girl had just died. And Jesus went inside and he's like, why are you guys all confused? She's not dead. She's just sleeping. And then what did people do? They laughed at Jesus. You think they laughed at Jesus? Yeah, they did, they did not know the power of God. They have not witnessed the power of God for themselves. He made them all go inside. He took only the child's father, mother, and the disciples who were with him, and he went where the child was. He took her by the hand. Then he said to her, little girl, I say to you, get up. The little girl was 12 years old. Right away, she stood up and began to walk around. They were totally amazed at this. Jesus gave orders to everyone there not to let anyone know what happened. And he told them to give something to eat. So what happened? Jesus, um, a man came to Jesus and he said, my daughter is dying. Please, you have to heal her. I know if you put your hands on her, you'll heal her and she will be, what, alive again. And so as Jesus and the man went walking to the house, someone came from the house and said, your daughter died. 
it's too late. Why bring him here when she's dead already? And the man was probably, what, even more sad. So what happened? Jesus is like, she's not dead, she's sleeping. And the people were laughing at Jesus. Why? Because they have not witnessed the power of God. So Jesus went inside with only who? The dad, the mom, the 12 disciples, or not, sorry, not 12 disciples, with the disciples that were with him. And they went in the house and Jesus said, what, little girl, get up. And what happened? She stood up. She got up and even walked around. And he gave two orders, Jesus said. He said, um, don't let anyone know what happened here today. Like, don't tell anyone. And what else? Give her something to eat. All right, so let's go ahead and after hearing this, let's work on this paper together and then we'll fill in your page. All right, let's go to it. Alrighty, so you should have a page just like this and hopefully colored in the best you can. Now, quick reminder, um, when we cut, do we point towards ourselves or away? That's right, we point away when we cut. All right, and we, do we go fast or slow? We take our time and we go nice and slowly, all right? Because later on, you're probably gonna be doing some projects that involve cutting and if we don't practice, we will never be able to learn how to do it ourselves, all right? So let's make sure we cut it as straight as possible. Not perfect, but the best you can do. Alrighty, you should have a page just like this. And if you see here, you have two dotted lines. We are not gonna cut those. We are gonna fold them like we did yesterday. So let's go ahead and fold it on the dotted line the best we can. Just like that. And on the other dotted line as well. Perfect. Now let's get our page right in front of us get some glue out and just like before we're gonna fold both um, pages we have one oops there we go we have one two and three we're gonna fold our two smallest parts and we're only gonna put glue on the big part all right put enough so that um, it really gets stuck to the page really good and it doesn't fall off out of your notebooks when i put them in your notebooks uh, on friday and then we're gonna go ahead and glue it. Remember, not at the very top, at the bottom we can. All right, just like that. And so now what do we have? We have Jesus. Remember it said he grabbed her hand and he said, little girl, get up. So you see him grabbing her hand, lying there, cause she was what? She was dead. And then when he said that, what happened? She was alive again. So what we're gonna go ahead and write is Jesus heals a dead girl. Little girl, I say to you, get up. So we're right, gonna write that and then we're gonna put the quote there. Make sure you pause this video if you need to. All right, take your time. Make sure when you write, you try to stay on the line as best as possible. Don't go up off the line and too sideways, all right? Take your time, go slowly, great job.